Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Levin's Restaurant. Where you've got different computers. These guys got a table for two. Aww. Young love, eh? That's one, that's two computers there. Let's have another, let's have a little party of computers here. So we've got one, two, three, and they're sitting at a long table here. Now, in this restaurant, we need people to provide a service. So waiters, whose job is to provide a service to the computers? So when the computers say, hey, give me some chicken, the waiter, with a little bow tie, that looks like a heart, but never mind. There you go, not too bad. We'll go, okay, I'll bring it to you. Imagine if a computer says, and let's imagine that they're connected to a network in our restaurant, and they're also connected to the waiter. And this dude goes, hey, darling, how you doing? Do you wanna check out my Microsoft Word? Then he'll go, hey, waiter, bring me Microsoft Word, the app Microsoft Word. The waiter will go, okay. And literally, he'll send them Microsoft Word. Or, hey, do you want to check out Photoshop with me? Yeah, sure, no worries. Hey, waiter, app server. And this is what the waiter's called. It's called app server or application server, if you want to be technical. Hey, application server, can you get me Photoshop? No worries, here you go. Boom, Photoshop. So, a server, or waiter, but we're gonna call it a server, provides a service to the computers which are connected to them. Simple, right? Now, on the internet, on a network, you can have different types of waiters or different types of servers. You've got the application server. You've got this dude here called the web server, which we'll talk about at another time. You've got a domain name server, you have a file server, just go to it quickly, good file server, and finally you've got what's called a proxy server, all of these are different waiters doing different jobs for computers which are connected to the internet, the network.